Hello YouTube, my name is Mushiri Wamoreu, your African man representing the manosphere from this side of the world. <laughs> yeah, um, so we have Urban Preach and Fresh and Fit Beefing, right? And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's waiting for uh, Kevin Samuels to take uh, or to give his opinion on this. And today he just did. He's just ended his live show right now, just a few minutes ago. And I thought before I run to work, because it's morning right now, it's about 7 a.m. Kenyan time. And uh, I should maybe give an opinion on this and maybe it's going to be uploading while I'm at work, right? Um, so when you see this, just know that I am in the office, <laughs> very busy working. So Kevin was just uh, giving the definition of or or his opinion on what high value man stands for, right? And we are at the point where he starts um, giving his take on this. And um, so let me just take you to that side of the show. The likes are up. We need to make sure that because uh, I'm about to drop dime on some high value men, on some so on some so called high value men, some supposed high value men. <laughs> Time for me to drop dime. So, um, for me, how that sounds like is that he doesn't believe. Um, one of the two, uh, we, we are going to know who. Um, maybe who knows? Um, one of the two sides of the of the beef is not really high value or. Both of them, the, or four of them, right? Um, how, how, how I've been reading this so far was that Fresh and Fit had already had some beef, some lay lowing beef with uh, Kevin Summers. Because if, if you're a viewer of Fresh and Fit, there are some times when you can see them, you can see it getting into the skin where, when people are like asking about Kevin Summers and stuff. I think Kevin Samuels got to a point where he learned that maybe he had um, endorsed people who are not really supposed to be endorsed, you know. Um, I think he was maybe taking a step back from, like, giving them his, you know, blessings. And, you know, and maybe they took it the wrong way. Maybe he gave them a few advice here and there and it, it dropped them off the wrong way and they didn't want to deal with him anymore. <clears throat> and obviously Kevin Samuels didn't say anything about it and it wasn't clear but for me it, it kind of was when I started seeing those kind of patterns and Kevin Samuels not no longer showing up on his show yeah people have been asking me my opinion and it's time to come clean it's time to drop dime but before I drop dime I want to make sure we do this understand one thing this ain't personal. This ain't personal. This is business. <laughs> this ain't personal. This is business. Shout out to, uh, you know who you are. Shout out to, shout out to you. Somebody that I know well just finally finished watching The Godfather. And see, I'm not like Mike, I'm not like Sonny. Or Fredo, I'm much more like, I think much more like Vito. Michael was good, but Vito was better. But he told Sonny. I, I don't know who those who those people are. Um, anyone watching can just maybe let me know who those are. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's business, Sonny. It's not personal. And what I'm about to say, it's not personal. It's just business. One thing I do is I keep it business. So if you get your feelings hurt tonight because I'm about to drop dime on you, <laughs> don't get upset. It's business, never personal. And see, truly high value men. Uh, am I the only one who thought uh, my Myron my, 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 my from Fish and Fit uh, is a bit too emotional? Sometimes uh, he... he, he removes women from his show who didn't even do that much you know 
he's too impatient he, he just wants to show that he's much a man and all that and some sometimes it's 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 not the best show right it's it's too, it's too emotional like you can't control some few things you can have people disagree with you and have them on your show still and even if they misbehave for a bit you know i mean some some women are justified right some some of these people are, should be removed from the show but <laughs> um my opinion is most of them didn't understand that principle but there are a lot of people out here who call themselves high value men and we need to talk about this as a topic as well the notion of fake it till you make it is on a lot of people's mouth today and i need to be really clear uh i need to be crystal crystal clear with what i'm about i am sipping on my morning coffee by the way <laughs> if you want to buy me coffee just send me a paper on my email I have to say in the black community in particular we tend to hold people out because they've lost as losers for the rest of their life i'm sorry that is not the way that even works i'm sorry that's not the way that even works it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way it never does work that way but in the black community we tend to do that to each other a lot we think that just because you've had some bumps and some bruises some things happen to you in life that means you're permanently stuck where you are that's bull crap every other group can uh, ascend and so can black folk I don't think it necessarily has to do anything with being black or white or Asian or, or whatever. Um, I just believe it's just human nature when you when you're like angry. I mean, with someone, then you you know just it's gonna be hard for you to like move on from that a part of the emotion bit, you know, and have business running smoothly. It's, it's just human nature. I don't think it has anything to do with. Uh, with color um however um i do think um in the us particularly in the african american community from obviously from where i stand i'm, I'm not i'm not saying i know much about you guys <laughs> the only thing i do is watch your stuff on the internet right um it, it definitely seems like you guys take it to a whole other level your beef thing you can even kill each other for some mundane things you know um when when you look at like uh, when rappers are getting shot dead and all those kind of things we don't see those things happening anywhere else and it's just because oh this guy wrote abcd about me on this song and whatever or, and some other small small issues that don't necessarily deserve s- such kind of um feedback or clapback black men in particular so i want to talk about the subject of fake it till you make it and this high value thing as i'm about to start dropping dime on folks so again get your popcorn you've been you've been asking for it get your popcorn but i want to talk about this as we talk about reinventing yourself check this man out right here everybody know who this is robert downey jr Rob- oh this guy um it's called the, the the guy who did uh who does <laughs> this character is called what oh man the robot guy right <laughs> iron man iron man iron man I mean, goodness Robert Downey Jr look at him from 35 from age 35 in 19 in 99 he wasted talent broke in and out of prison because of his addiction to drugs and weapons and everything else. Robert Downey Jr. was a certified loser. And in 2020, he's a $300 million man at age 55. In 20 years, he was able to go from the bottom to the top. He reinvented himself. So black men, I want you to understand, I don't care where you came from. You can reinvent yourself just like Robert Downey Jr. did, just like everyone else in this world is allowed to. 
Do not let people hold it over your head that you flunked out of college, that you were born in a single mother household, that you've been fired, that you that you had problems, that something you can choose. Look at what's going on right here. And I, I agree. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it's it's difficult to understand how much potential you have as a human being to make your own reality. Even in the, the third world country, like I am in Kenya, um, and uh, it's, it's never easy. Um, I mean, I tend to believe it would be easier for me to be able to pursue some things if I'm in a better managed country in, with maybe the tools maybe I might need for myself to be able to excel in different fields, right? Maybe that I can't be able to access from this end. Um, but however, with whatever it is we have already as humans, we can reinvent ourselves, we can do can pursue different things without really um re- re- really really much uh, effort in fact for me what i notice that I, normally when i put a little bit of effort on something it's just just people just notice because it's like they're not used to seeing that no more just used to seeing people doing mediocre kind of things so when you put a little bit of effort it kind of stands out from the from the rest and people miss that people want to see that people want to see you you're putting effort and doing things and they're going to support you um the the fresh and fit i think is referring to now this situation where fresh and fit are finding themselves in in terms of they're losing numbers um they, they've lost a big big um number of uh, subscribers um however can they really in, reinvent themselves in this kind of situation because they i think it's people's trust once you break people's trust you have to work so hard for you to get it back and i think that is what has happened to to their show um people look at them and they feel like they are betrayed they feel like oh these guys were taking us for a ride they just they're just up after money they're not really trying to help us they're just trying to sell us things Right, and they decided. You know what? Let me subscribe. They're not really um, rational as they they want us to think they are. They're not all that high value in terms of they can't manage the emotions, right? And that these are the people we are following. You know, people felt like they bought into an idea that wasn't really well deserved because these guys came into YouTube with so much. Um, with 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 high speed they've grown with like <laughs> like a rocket and the, the the only issue with that is that no one was able to check them because they felt like they were doing everything right and they are the the highest of the uh, manosphere and no one can tell them anything and it's sad because i tend to believe kevin samuels did take his time to try and coach them to try and show them the right way but they just looked at him and like oh man we're going to about to we are just about to like <laughs> take laps on you so you're not telling us anything you're better than you like they thought you know and it's not it's not usually about being better it's about also being able to listen to people who've been there before you because they know a few things about life about the space that you're in that you might not be aware of um i tend to talk to younger guys and give them my own fresh ad- of advice right i am not old but i can see younger people messing up and i can tell them yo if i were you i would not take that route i would maybe do it differently the same thing when i look at someone trying to advise me i take the same angle i look at him i see him the way i see the younger guys when i'm giving them advice if i can see something they are not seeing then Definitely these people who been here before me can see something that I, I possibly can't see at that point and I should be able to be humble enough to listen. I don't have to agree with what they say, but I should be able to actually take a look at that thing without emotions, without being too critical, without being too prideful and say okay, is there something into this thing? can i learn something from this and unfortunately I, i don't think fresh and fit took that from this man 
because he's a very wise man. He's been on YouTube for years and years. His success is not just a kind of a rocket just didn't take off out of nowhere. He's been grinding and he's be, he's built his character. Um, and I think they also betrayed his, him because he trusted them with this uh, message that he's trying to pass to younger generations and to help them. But they didn't, they, they just after money. Jail, 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 jail. But every other community will not throw their felons away. They will take their felons who do the freaking work and let them be Iron Man. You know why they do that? Because they have a patriarchy of high value men. When you have a monarch, when you have a matriarchy of emotional men and women, you throw away the men who disappointed you like your daddy did. I said it. I said it. I said it. See, he says you throw away like the men who like you know disappointed you. Maybe maybe he told them things that they didn't necessarily want to hear, and they decided, you know what, we're not dealing with you anymore. And in Africa, we take advice from older people very seriously. In Kenya, especially, you know, as much as like let's say right now I'm in the internet space, I still listen to my grandparents. I still listen to their counsel. You know, they don't understand everything that's going is going around. They're, they don't have smartphones. They're still very, very old school, right? Extremely old school. Um, but they still sit down with me and they told me, hey, you should get this. You should try this, you know. And I listen. I don't have to do everything their own way because it's a different generation. But I have to listen and take those things that they're saying to heart and consideration. He changed his lifestyle. His films have grossed over one fourteen billion, making him the second highest box office star of all time. Why is that important? Because like Robert Downey Jr., who had wasted youth, he didn't listen. Robert Downey Jr. and far too many young guys today, far too many young men, period, are like Icarus. I want to take you guys back to school. Let's go back to Icarus. Who is Icarus? The son of whatever, I can't pronounce his name, Daladeus or whoever. But Icarus and his father were both in prison. <laughs> kind of like the ghetto, right? The hood. And the only way of escaping prison were to craft these wings made out of wax and to soar above the prison to go out. But what happened? You know, funny thing about this story is that when you are being taught this story when I was in uh, primary school, which is, I, I don't know which, how that compares to the U.S. Um, back then, I used to think it's a Kenyan made story. <laughs> so when I when I had him make this reference at first, I was like, oh, okay, it, it, this story just leak out of Kenya. But, you know, we, we, I think we thought the same stuff all over the place. <laughs> Icarus's dad said, look here, son, I got a way out. But I have done, but I know what these things are. And we, as long as you, as long as you operate according to some rules and some, to some structure, you can sail out of here and reinvent yourself. But what happened? Icarus didn't listen to the old man. Who's that old dude? What, he 40, 50, 60 years old? He's an old sucker. They don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm... I He's, he's indirectly taking a stab of um, fresh and fit. Like, he must have told them some things. He must have. He must have told them, hey, you guys, the way you're doing this thing, maybe you can consider this other way, this other angle. Maybe don't do it this way. Try my way or at least see how it works. You know, but they didn't listen. He's just a 50-year-old man. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So I think he is, in this situation... Uh, I think uh, Myron, Myron is called Myron or who, the, the fit guy, right? I think he is the one he's, he's referring to as Icarus. Icarus. Forget you. So next time you hear Icarus, replace that <laughs> with Myron. <laughs> he got the wings, didn't listen to what the OG said, and flew and did that very thing his daddy told him not to do. Flew too close to the sun, wing melted, fell into the sea, drowned. So it's not that he didn't have a way out. It's not that he didn't have a way out. It's not that he was starting down at the bottom. 
and he didn't have a way to soar and reinvent himself and soar up to high value status is he did not listen to sound advice and counsel. Why? Because like far too many fo folks who want to uh, claim all these statuses, you get the stuff, the money, the connections, and all the other stuff that people have often said, well, why don't you talk about the other stuff? The reason I don't talk about the other stuff is because it's variable. It's variable to somebody's particular. It's variable to your particular ethos. Where are we going with this? Well, it's time to drop down. You need those six things to be a high value man across the board. But in my personal opinion, in order to remain a high value man, in order to remain a high value man, in order to keep your wings, in order to not fly too close to the sun, ascend too far too fast, like far too many you young folks today think you got the, the, the keys to the universe because you got Google and a smartphone not realizing that these old folks who had to go to the library and use the Dewey Decimal System actually know <laughs> some shit out of here. And why do we know what you don't know? Because we, why do we know what you don't know? Hello, Panda Bear. Because like most we have discipline. 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 To train oneself to do something in a controlled or... Um, anyway, guys, I, I might get late for work. <laughs> um, I just had to take a rough, um, you know, take on this. I'm, I'm not even going to edit this video. It's going to be how it looks, you know. Um, so... <laughs> What do you think? Uh, do you think my uh, flesh and feet can reinvent themselves? Do you think people are going to take them as serious as they used to after before before this kind of situation? Because myself, I I, I tend to think, I, I I stopped watching a lot of the shows. I I, I still do uh, once in a while, but I felt like it was a bit too repetitive. It was too obvious. I I knew what to expect already. You know, they say the same old things. I mean, most shows are repetitive, right? It's a show because it kind of has a system to it. But it, the show started feeling a bit um, like I, I can I can really predict what's going to be said, what's going to run. You know, there was no much uniqueness anymore. You know, I, I got used to it. Um, maybe they can reinvent themselves and have different um approaches to the show um also uh, but anyway um that's that for me here in nairobi kenya see you next time <laughs>